Hey guys, how are you doing? In today's video, I'm going to let her do the intro. Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and why we chose the breed to go RVing with. Alright guys, here we go. YouTube. Today we're going to talk about why we picked Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. And one of the reasons is, is their friendliness. They're very, very good family dog. Just good to be around. Yep. And that is very true. So as you can see, we've got three here. And we actually at one point did have five dogs. Uh, so this is the daddy dog. This is the mama dog. This is Bentley. This is Arista. And behind us here, up on the top of the couch, is one of the babies, Scarlet. And my parents actually kept the other two dogs because we knew there was no way we could do five dogs in an RV and travel around it. It would just been too hard. But it was heartbreaking to let them go. It yes, really it, was. Even to family. We were actually planning on selling them at one point, and we just couldn't bring ourselves to do it. And my parents loved both of the other dogs, so we thought that was the better way. So now we can go back and see them whenever we want to. But. But they are uh, great tempered dogs, uh, very easy to take care of, and you know she can talk more about that. She does most of their most of their health care, like as far as you know their brushings, their bathings, and stuff like that. But for the most part, they're fairly easy. And uh, the grooming, we'll just go ahead and start with that. The grooming is not much more than a, than any other dog. Uh, the reason I chose these dogs was I had a, a golden retriever. And I had to um, clip him to shave him, you know, trim his ears up, his feet. These dogs require no, no cutting of their hair. They're actually, you're not supposed to do it. A lot of people have shaved them. I'm not sure why, but just brushing them is, is all you need. That's it. Just a bath and a brush and, and that's it. And as you can see, they're all very lazy. So that's the other good thing about them. They're very laid back, well tempered dogs. They travel well. Uh, they do. Now, these three, not all dogs, but these three prefer to be in a crate. They travel in one crate together. That's how they like it. They're very comfortable. You don't hear nothing out of them. But as you can see, they're all three sitting here pretty much asleep now yeah. while, we're, while we're recording. They have mastered the art of sleeping. That, so. that is for sure. And like uh, Arista here, and, and, and they really do kind of bond with one person. So, like Bentley, he is really bonded with my wife. Yeah. And Arista is really bonded with me. And Scarlett, she's still trying to figure it out, but I think she's leaning yeah. more towards my wife, too. She's my dog. Yeah, yeah. She's so she, mine. She's going a lot more that way. Um, but, you know, they do they do typically like to bond with one person over the other for whatever reason. Or at least that's what we're seeing. But, you know, you just can't beat them. They are true lap dogs. I mean, this is what they do. If you're yes. sitting down, they're sitting down with you and probably asleep. I, and we'll go into the lap dog part. They, they were bred... And their name comes, they're King Charles Cavaliers. They were bred to sit on... Cavalier King Charles. They are Cavalier King Charles. King Charles Cavalier. <laughs> Go ahead. They were bred to sit on the laps of queens and keep them warm in their drafty castles while, they're, while the kings were away at war. So this is what they were bred to do. And, and and that's that's where they get their name from. And an interesting fact about King Charles or Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, I'm gonna get the name right, is they were actually pretty much annihilated. So they were actually took down to there was only like three or four left in the world when King Charles was overthrown in England and they tied the dogs back to King Charles. So they actually went through and killed yes. all the dogs, which is, you know, insane. And so they've had to bring them back slowly over time. Yes, they, they bred them with pugs, and, and Arissa's got more pug in her, the, the way she looks, but Bentley's all spaniel, yep. and that's the that's that's what they want in the breed. They do not want to see any pug. They want all the pug bred out of them. And, and it just makes you wonder, because look at this face right here. Yeah, I Is would prefer the pug. Is that not the prettiest dog in the world? I, I will tell you, I've never felt about a dog the way I feel about this dog right here. I mean, this this is my dog, and I will show you a picture of her. I'll pop it up above, but, you know, I'll show you a picture of when, when the first time. All right, Steph. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, 
Do you hear Bentley? Do you hear Bentley? Her. And you know, it's uh, yeah, I just I loved her love at first, first sight. sight. Yeah, yep. it really, really was. Me and her just connected at first sight. And he said, Kyle, I have to have that dog. <laughs> and, and I wanted no more dogs at that point. I no. was done. Yeah. No. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was their health. Now they are, they do tend to have heart murmurs. We've not had any, and the breeder that we've got our, ours from said she's not had any. Um, I do hold my breath every time the vet listens to them, but as far as the puppies and ours, we've not had any problems. And, and even with the heart murmur, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. So I wouldn't have no problem having one with a heart murmur. And to give you a good example of that, Patrick and Patty over at Travels with Delaney, they actually have a Cavalier King Charles with a heart murmur. Yes, they do. And um, you know, you see their dogs and all their live streams, all their videos, and you see it really, it does not have any impact on them. Of course, they take great care of their dogs too, but you know, it's not, you know, a lot of people will get rid of them over that. And no. you know, there, there's no, you no just can't breed, You just can't breed them with right. that. And, and be honest with you, you can't breed these dogs and, and give them away. I mean, you just can't. Yeah, so. we, we actually tried that and ended yeah. up with an extra dog and, and giving two away to my parents. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. We, we were not good breeders. <laughs> um, so with that, this is why we chose Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Um, look them up, Google them. They're really excellent dogs as they don't need a lot of space as long as they're with you. Yep. They are happy. They don't and, care. And I will say they do run a little bit on the pricey side. Um, if you can find them unregistered, I mean, you can probably get one between five and eight hundred dollars. But registered, depending on the color, the way they look, yes, um, they can go the anywhere between twelve hundred and three thousand dollars in some cases. So, you know, that that's the that's probably the worst thing about them is the price point. But you know, like I say, I mean, Arista, I'm so attached to her, I, I would give ten thousand dollars for her, so it yeah. wouldn't matter. <laughs> Um, but you know, it's just it's all on what you're looking for in a breed. But if you're looking for a great travel dog, or just you know, even a great home dog, mm -hmm. one that's going to stay a lot calmer, Con, a lot more relaxed. Uh, yeah, a condo dog. These are what you're looking dog, for. Just a lap dog. They're they're just a great all around lap dog. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, after having them, I probably I would probably never have another kind of dog. You know, uh, for a small dog, I'll put it that way. Bigger dogs, that's a little bit different story. But but we love them and. You know, uh, we just wanted to kind of do a video and, and introduce them and talk a little bit about them and explain why we chose these dogs for travel. Um, but that's a you know, couple of the good reasons. And anybody who has any questions on them, please post down below. We'll answer anything that we can. And I invite you off. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, we're going to have more content like this. We're going to start including the dogs in a lot more stuff. But I invite you to uh, subscribe, like, and share this out. And I look forward to hearing back from everybody. Anything you want to say to close this out? No, just if you have any questions about the breed, feel free. Um, anything that uh, we can answer, we sure will, because uh, you won't go wrong with this breed. Nope, not at all. All right, guys, we appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you. Bye, YouTube.